I don't even know where we are, guys. Woohoo! <laughs> I like sailing. I always tell people, you're awesome. And you know you are. You can achieve anything you put your mind to. Well, I am going to put my mind to buying my next boat. Testing out a lot of them, and I'm going to show you a lot on this channel. Good morning. As you know, we're in Paros, and uh, we're trying to get to Marmari in Turkey with this catamaran. She's a Fontaine Peugeot. 41 and i'll still do a little bit of a review on the boat and what i thought of the boat today what we're going to do is we're going to hop another uh 90 miles or so closer to marmari and hide behind one of the islands it allows us to get a little bit closer to our end destination we'll get there probably tonight at 11 or 12. it's been an interesting trip very technical having to look at the weather all the time doing passage planning over and over and over again i didn't show you guys that and bore you with how many times you go over the weather and the decisions that Dan and myself have made but um just to let you know you know sailing is fun yes and um uh, there's a lot that goes into it and you can have nice beautiful sunsets and dolphins on the bow but what goes on behind the scene if you want to be a real good skipper or captain or you know is is a lot of hard work you you look after a boat and people's lives and so uh, that's what we do. That's what we try and do good. And that's why we uh, try and stay alive so we can do some more sailing. Hey guys! <laughs> uh, welcome to Camp Mezu! <laughs> the jib we've got just under we've got 18 knots now uh -huh. we'll put out the full jib if it gets starts going up above that we'll reduce it a bit we'll reef the jib um i, I suspect once we get around the head round here we'll, we'll increase a bit all right let's get it out and get some extra speed sweet what we're doing right now is we're kind of on a starboard tack here which means that the wind is coming from your starboard side coming over the starboard side of the boat, filling the sail on the port side, but it's called a starboard tack. So whatever you want to do is look at everything on the on deck. Is my fenders secured? Yes, they're good. I see a line there that I'm not happy with. So I'm just gonna inspect that. See, this is a halyard that goes all the way up and it's chafing against the sail. Probably won't cause any problems, but I just like to make sure everything is well done. Midnight trying to get into this little island. The wind is just howling outside. Weather and bulletin for shipping and daily warning to the station of channel 01, 02, 03, 04, 23, 24. Gale force warning. Oh. And we're beating into 30 knots of wind, it picks up to about 35. The boat is kind of moving around with the waves, 10 degrees. It'll come down to about 141 and it'll try to come back. I'm trying to do about 160 degrees. But the waves are just beating us up a little bit. <laughs> Just put the boat on the dock. Well done, boys! Woohoo! Oh, what a passage this was. I don't even know where we are, guys. I'll show you tomorrow in the daylight. I mean, I know where we are on the map, but I've never even heard of this place in my life. There we are. We are hiding from the southerly. We got gusts up to 40 knots as we were coming in. We're safe. It's almost 1 a.m. And we are going to make a pasta and then hit the sack. You're awesome. I see you tomorrow. This is good.
Well deserved. Thank you so much for cooking. And here we are! <laughs> and we're trying to get to Marmari. We have about 35 miles left. We've made it. We've delivered a Fontaine Peugeot 41. Good old Clive Tong here. Good morning, you filming me, filming you.